good morning all of you radesh ji uh, am i audible meri yes, awaaz aa rahi hai yes sir yes sir yes sir ah uh, good morning sir good morning sir all of you uh, i would request uh, all the morning, participants sir. good morning uh, yes uh, i would request all the participants to please uh, keep themselves muted and uh, of course if they switch off their videos uh, they'll have better connectivity they will be able to listen so we'll start uh, with uh, the inaugural session of the 6th day fdp on teaching methodology for technical education and i welcome all the participants and the guest of honor the chief guest for today's program uh we'll have with us uh, for today's program chief guest shri arup nath joint director industrial training department meghalaya but before uh, we start i would like to present you a ppt on jharkhand government school room training center rachi so i'll be sharing my screen with you so that all can witness my presentation again to be welcome all the participants for the 6 day faculty development program on teaching methodology for technical education uh, being organized by jharkhand government school room rachi i have for you a small presentation of our organization our institute was established by the government of jharkhand in the year 2007 Uh, with the support of ministry of msme government of india uh, with a total investment of 36 crores in which ministry of msme government of india had contributed 9 crores towards the project our current chairman of uh, our organization is ms pooja singhal uh, she is also secretary of industries government of jharkhand and vice chairman is sri jitendra singh is director industries government of jharkhand our organization is a society of government of jharkhand under the department of industries and we yeah. have started in the year 2001 and came into operation since 2007 uh, we have two important uh, departments i would say one production department and, uh, and training and, and we are located at three centers stations uh, jharkhand uh, one is at takiselva rachi another at uh, jardana dumka and a third at rangar bola yes spread in a total area of 4.8 acres in rachi and 10 acres in dumka our organization are iso 9001 iso 5001 iso 9 people who triple n certified and uh, this is the vision of our organization developing competitive edge through adoption of best manufacturing practices develop value added inputs focus on guiding weaker section of the society for employment and equality and to become internationally acclaimed center of excellence providing solutions in tool design development manufacturing skill development and application and competency and these are the various objectives we need to fulfill to capture six specific cutting tools major test tools plastic molds forging pressure casting dies and the tooling for small scale industries in which advanced tool making process using cad cam techniques are to be adopted that to provide training hey, for the yes sir very good sir in order to generate 
of workforce of skilled workers, supervisors, engineers, designers, etc., to work as a nuclear center for providing consistency, information service, documentation, etc., for solving the problems related to toolings of the industries in the region, and to act as a common center for small scale industries and to assist them in product and prototype development. And these are the various activities which uh, takes place at our center. We have training, we have design, manufacturing, and testing in various fields. And we also have research work going on at our center. And as you can see on your screen, this, this is uh, ultraviolet sanitizing chamber, which something which our faculties during this COVID period have developed. And uh, this has been marketed, and we have supplied it to various uh, departments. And this is, as you can see on your screen, a foot-operated sanitizing machine, which was developed by our organization during this COVID period. And another product which uh, was developed by the faculties is an automatic sanitizer dispenser machine. And as you can see on your screen, uh, this is uh, a foot operated wash station which was fabricated, designed by the faculties. And this has been placed near the entrance of our gate. Uh, and all the visitors who are coming, they, they are able to sanitize, they are able to wash their hands uh, without using their hands. This is a foot operated uh, wash station. And on your screen, you can see the various CNC machines. These are world-class uh, CNC machines uh, which are procured from the global market. And these are price position of the tool rooms. Some more CNC machines. Uh, as I said, we provide training uh, to the students on these CNC machines. And also, uh, since we have a production department, we are authorized vendors of Tata Motors, Kindle steel. So we also do production work, job work for those companies. And uh, as you can see, the innovative projects, we always encourage our students to involve themselves in, in some kind of innovative projects. And uh, as you can see on your screen, some of the innovative projects made by the students, a solar powered bicycle which they have built, a solar powered three wheeler specially built for differently abled people. And as you can see on your screen, a, a formula style car, uh, which was made by the students, all the critical components of the car were machined here in the CNC machines available at the center. Some, you know, some more innovative projects, like you can see on your screen, a motorized three wheeler on which the students are working upon. And uh, another very latest, our uh, students, been trying to extract, uh, they have extracted hydrogen from water and, and uh, using it as a cooking fuel. Uh, so this is uh, one very innovative work they have been doing and our institute have also applied for the patent of this particular project. Some more innovative projects done by the students, they have uh, designed and fabricated a hydraulic machine, a automatic seed feeder, they have also been trying to run their engine using hydrogen as, as a fuel. And as you can see on your right uh, uh, corner, you can see the chess pawns, right? Each of the pawns uh, is made of metal and has been uh, programmed and machined on CNC machines. So these have been done by the students of our uh, tool room. On your screen, you can see uh, various students, uh, boys and girls. They are uh, taking hands-on experience on the conventional machines uh, available at the center. And as I said, we also have a production department uh, for, in which we do various job orders received from various companies like Tata Motors, Tata Cummins, Jingle Steel, uh, Usha Martin. So uh, as you can see, some highly precision machining work. And you can also see a dust mold for a plastic dust pan. Uh, all can associate, everyone has this dust pan at home. Uh, so 
you can see the mold of that dustpan being made in the production department. And this is uh, something which, again, well, our faculties during the COVID period developed. This is a, a stainless steel uh, fabricated and uh, assembled charkha. Uh, a similar kind has been installed at New Delhi. And this, is, this one is the largest uh, charkha, which is uh, 12 feet uh, long. And this has been uh, fabricated and uh, assembled by the faculties, built, and this has been uh, installed at the governor house at Rachi. And we being the training center, we also provide training to the faculties. As you can see on your screen, uh, these are the faculties from uh, Villa Institute of Technology, Mesra, and Cambridge Institute of Technology. And they underwent a training program under technical education quality improvement program at our center. We also provide training to the corporates uh, like MECON, TCS, engineers from, uh, from uh, those organizations come, come to our training institute for getting training on various softwares and other uh, programs which we earn. Talking about the awards which our organization has received, this is the Times Impact Award for the third most admired institute awarded by the Times Group. And another award awarded by ASHIM India for the best use of technology for vocational education and skills training. Uh, thank you all of you. This was just a brief introduction and uh, the work which been uh, conducted at our center. Rachi. Okay. So that was just a small introduction of our organization. And uh, talking about the FTP program, uh, which will be conducted for all you participants. Uh, this is a six day program. And the main objective of this program is to make you learn the various teaching methodologies. Uh, for especially for the technical education, since we all are, are involved in imparting technical education. So our six-day program, I'll, I'm just going to give you a brief of the, the session flow of the six-day FTP that's going to uh, be conducted. And of course, uh, we are holding the inaugural session. And just after the inaugural session, on day one, we are going to have topic effective classroom management. Uh, so this will be the day one program. And with day two, we'll start with the following topics. Micro teaching, innovative teaching methods, instructors' role in the development of trainees and institute. So this will constitute a day two. And on day three, uh, we are going to cover topics like factors contributing towards quality training, importance of training plan and evaluation, industry academy relationships, learners' learning style, and effective presentation skills. Uh, these will be the topics of day three. And on day four, we'll have financial literacy and self-management of faculty. Another topic, how to make a personal growth plan for enhancing self-knowledge, skills, and attitude. Moving to day five, we'll have topics like importance of assignments, outcome-based education, competency-based approach, and power of humor in teaching. And our day six, which will be the concluding day, we'll have online teaching followed by workshop and last teaching skills. And the last session of day six 
uh, will be a feedback session, validatory and certificate distribution session. So this is this will be the the session flow plan for the six days FDP. And uh, now I would uh, request the chief mentor uh, who will be the guide uh, for uh, the, the chief trainer for the six day FDP program, Professor Dr. R. Ballavji. And before asking him to talk to us, I'll just give you a brief introductory of uh, Professor Dr. R. Ballavji. He's an accomplished academician and business savvy management professional with over 30 years of experience in the field of education, finance, and corporate. Have a track record of successfully training delivery in the education and corporate. Have delivered results in the most competitive universities as well as corporate environment. Work as a resource person for more than 900 seminars and workshops and more than 150 plus faculty development programs conducted for UGC, AICT, Council, INC, AIMA, ISCD, NIPM, IIPM, IAM, IIT, XISS, XLRI. He was uh, the Vice President HR, Senior Faculty with St. Xavier's College, Ex-Dean and Head Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. Presently, he's working as a senior research person, Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs, which is under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, CDSL, and Bombay Stock Exchange. He is also advisor for three universities and an expert visiting faculty for all for many management institutes. Uh, I would uh, welcome Professor Dr. R. Ballavji uh, to, to give a brief uh, to the participants of the six-day FDB program, sir. Thank you, Mangal sir. This is my pleasure to interact with you all, and this is an opportunity given by Jharkhand Government Tool Room, the principal sir, and his team has created an opportunity so that we all faculties can interact with one another and exchange our thoughts and ideas how to deliver effectively and efficiently in the classroom in a given changing circumstances in the technical education era. As the topic has been selected, with a desire and objective to help the students with the maximum effects, efficiency and effectiveness of the faculties available over there. As you all will be agreed with the scenario that the technical education is changing. So now it is the responsibility of we all to cope with these changes, expectation of a student, expectation of industry, as well as to meet the competition among each other in the technical education era. Since we all will be with one another for next six days, for two hours every day, I had two requests to all the participants. Number one, please keep a writing pad with you so that we all can understand and note down the effective discussions and ideas for the implementation of our effective classroom. Second, I request all of you to please fill the feedback form every day. It no, not only gives you 
the understanding as well as the gives us a feedback how to rectify how to correct for the next coming faculty development programs or uh, as i was going with the sanjay sir in the last two and a half month we had interacted with more than 1000 faculties of 21 states so it is a big achievement of chakran government tool room particularly principal sir and his team that we in this era of covid we were able to address more than 1000 faculties in 21 states as this is in time to re evaluate ourselves to add on certain qualities and the teaching methodologies in our particular personal teaching systems i hope this 6 day will give a tremendous benefit to all of us thank you over to mangal sir thank you uh, professor dr raman ballav ji i may inform all the participants that uh, we have uh, participants from 14 states uh, joining for this 6 day ftp uh, we have people from andhra pradesh assam bihar jammu and kashmir jharkhand madhya pradesh maharashtra manipur meghalaya odisha punjab sikkim uttar pradesh west bengal so i would request uh, our participants uh, and uh, i would like to ask you to introduce yourself and uh, as i call your name uh, you may just tell us your name institute uh, the state and city from which you belong and uh, the trade which you are from and the experience so just a brief introduction about yourself uh, so uh, uh, can i talk to the sari else bhana saini are you there the sari uh do we have a uh, hari naraya lashkar joined with yes sir welcome welcome you sir for your uh introduction of your sir uh mera naam hari naraya lashkar hai main assam ka hu और uh, मेरा गॉक आई टी आई कैसे हूँ और मेरा 12 साल का एक्सपीरियंस है एज ए इंस्ट्रक्टर और मैं uh, अभी भी कार्यरत हूँ जी सर बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका इस छह दिवसीय एम टी पी प्रोग्राम में थैंक यू थैंक यू क्या हम बात करते हैं सुजीत कुमार जी है हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए सुजीत कुमार जी यस सर यस सर बताइए यस सर मेरा नाम सुजीत कुमार हुआ सर और मैं गवर्नमेंट आईटीआई बेगूसराय में कार्यरत हूं और मेरी एक्सपीरियंस 12 साल की है और मैं टर्नर इंस्ट्रक्टर हूं मैं टर्नर के पद पर कार्यरत हूं और टर्नर ट्रेड को पढ़ाता हूं और मेरी बहुत ही अच्छी एक्सपीरियंस रही है सर और आपके साथ जो अभी जुड़े हैं और भी मेरी अच्छी एक्सपीरियंस रहेगी पढ़ाने की भी जो बात बताई जा रही है वो भी हम लोग देखेंगे सर टेक्निकल क्योंकि इस समय समय पर भी ट्रेनिंग बहुत जरूरी है ये ट्रेनिंग हमारे प्रिंसिपल के द्वारा बताया गया और जो है हम आप लोगों से ट्रेनिंग ले रहे हैं अभी थैंक यू सर धन्यवाद सुजीत जी थैंक यू कैन बी टॉक विद फरीद अहमद शेख फरीक फरीद अहमद शेख uh can we connect with uh, rahul tripathi ji rahul uh, rahul tripathi ji are you there is uh, you can uh, uh, 
say a few words about yourself okay yes. Can we talk to Ajay Ajay Singh? Uh, do we have Prajakta Pankaj Satharkar? Prajakta yes, Pankaj. Oh, man, okay. Yes, sir. Can, can, we, can we introduce ourselves? Good morning, sir. Uh, morning. My name is uh, Prajakta Pankaj Sakarkar. I am from Ratnagiri, Maharashtra. And uh, uh, my institute name is uh, uh, ITI Ratnagiri. And my uh, uh, trade is uh, electrician, sir. Okay. okay. I have uh, six year uh, experience in teaching. Okay, okay. Welcome you, ma'am, for this Thank six year. Uh, can we have uh, Kundrappan Romila Devi? Kundrappan uh, Romila Devi. Good morning, sir. Morning. My sir. name morning. is My name is Romila Devi from Manipur, ITI Imphal Tagyan, and my trade is wireman and ten years experience. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. We welcome you also. Uh, can we talk with? Uh, Walma Kemara. Good morning, sir. I'm uh, I'm I'm Walma Kemara, and I'm from Meghalaya, Tura, and I'm working in ITI Tura, and uh, I have uh, one year of experience in this field, and I'm uh, my trade is uh, MMB, and uh, I'm an instructor in MMB, me uh, mechanics motor vehicle. Thank you. Okay, welcome, you, sir. Thanks. Uh, we have uh, Bertela Abaha. Bertela. Uh, can we talk to uh, Palas Datta Ji? Palas Datta. Yes, sir. Good morning, uh, sir. I'm good morning. I am Pala. I am Palazuta. I am from uh, Gofdaite in Suki Assam. My subject is workshop calculation and science. I have been working in this department for last fourteen years. Okay. Welcome you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, can we connect with Can we connect with uh, Snigdha Mishra? Are you there, Snigdha Mishra? Oh, very good. Yes, sir. Very good morning to all of you. Myself, Dr. Snigdha Mishra. I am from Odisha, Raurkela, Odisha, and I am the faculty in management since last two years. We welcome you, ma'am, for the sixty. Thank you, sir. Uh, can we connect with uh, Mikmar Norbu? Mikmar Norbu. Yes. Hello. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am from Sikkim, Government IT in Namchi. I am working as principal since from uh, 2017. Before that, I was in education department, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We welcome you, sir. Uh, can we have Romit uh, Bhattacharya? Romit Bhattacharya ji. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I am from West Bengal. My name is Dhrumit Bhattacharya. I am from West Bengal. I am just working for one year in Sonoka Educational Trust and my trade is Pharmaceutical Technology. Welcome you, sir. Uh, can we connect with Buddha Dev Biswas Ji? Good morning, sir. Good morning. 
गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई हैव ऑलरेडी पार्टिसिपेटेड इन मैनेजमेंट डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम सो ओके आई एम फ्रॉम वेस्ट बंगाल सिलीगुड़ी आई एम द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रेफेल प्राइवेट आईटीआई या सिलीगुड़ी वेलकम यू सर थैंक यू सर यस सर Uh, can we connect uh, with uh, Dr. Sapna Guru? Dr. Sapna. Yes, sir. Good morning, Good morning. sir. Good morning. I'm from Government ITI Namchi. I'm a teaching faculty of English language, and I've been teaching there for thirteen years, sir. Welcome, you, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we have with us uh, for today's inaugural session uh, as the chief guest for the occasion, Sri Arup Nath, Joint Director, Industrial Training Department, Meghalaya, uh, Sir. Uh, Are you there? Are you connected? Uh, Arup Nath, sir. Uh, I guess Ajay Singh wants to uh, uh, say few words. Ajay Singh. Yes, sir. Yeah, Arup sir is now connected. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh. Uh, he'll be uh, connecting in, in a little while, or uh, Ajay Singh ji, uh, can we know if uh, he'll be connecting a little while from now? Yes, sir. I'm uh, Ajay Singh. Okay, bye. 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 Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. You are yeah. able to listen. Yeah. Good morning to all. First of all, let me welcome all of you for the training purpose. That is the thing. Actually, I wanted. This is the most serious part because my internet is not working right now. I've tried a lot, but suddenly I got in a mobile only. In my mobile, just anyhow is no harm. But still, let me tell you because first of all, let me welcome again to all the participants. Second thing is that you know all of you. You know that. there is no age bar for training purpose there is no age bar for learning no and that is why i always introduce actually this time what happened in with our especially with meghalaya what happened there is there is there is a problem with the internet problem is going on for all of us because not only myself everyone you know, there is some problem with the internet which is means difficult to connect and that is why i am very sorry for that and i'm a little bit late also because i could not connect it i have time trying because you can see also my my computer also i'm still in in front of computer but still i could not connect it so again another thing let me tell you knowledge is the power that is the first thing we have to think knowledge is the power so there is no age bar for training there is no age bar for the, there is there should not be any age bar for any kind of to earn the knowledge i all i request all the people all the participants please take it seriously please take it again i'll repeat it please take it seriously so that you can earn a lot and there is a because this is a very helpful training programs and i know because i have attended before also once i have attended not from here i have i have attended in a different uh, tool room but i have seen it has helped me a lot that time i was a principal of ikh shillong and i got lots of benefit of that so i'll request everyone to attend this any kind of training program which which is which is related to your trade which is related to your uh future life with this i'll conclude because i'll not take much time please continue so that your training program will start now thank you thank you uh, sri arup nath uh, sir uh, joint director industrial training department meghalaya uh, thank you for your words of encouragement uh, now i would request our principal uh, principal jharkhand government children training center rachi sri m k gupta ji Uh, to give the vote of thanks uh, to all the guests 
and the participants. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mangal Topo, training in charge, Jharkhand Government, Tulum, Ranchi. Uh, very good morning to all of you. Honorable, our uh, honorable chief guest uh, on this inauguration uh, session, Mr. Arup Nath, sir, Joint Director, Industrial Training, Meghalaya. On behalf of Jharkhand Government, Tulum, and on my own behalf, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to to you, sir, for sparing your valuable time despite your busy schedule and being here with us for boosting the morale of the not only participant but all of us and guiding us. Uh, we are expecting more uh, in future collaboration with you, sir, so that it could be a win win situation and we can interact more for conducting such more programs as. As you told, you are already familiar with the tool looms and we have other facilities also. So we will be in touch with you, sir. Thank you very much for uh, being here with us and inaugurating this okay. session. I would like to express my heartfelt thanks to all the participants, most respected participant of this training program who has joined this program understanding the importance of the training as a bhamare participant ne bola bhi ki training bahut zaruri hai so definitely now the technology is changing day by day so not only we have to improve our teaching teaching technique as per the requirement like now we are going we have already gone online last one year we are conducting online training programs and this is our earth faculty development program and we are conducting many more such online programs as well as you now offline also we have started slowly so uh, thank you uh, very much uh, to all respected faculties principals and other hod's for being part of this training program and uh, taking benefit of this uh, a special thanks to our resource person uh, Professor Dr. Raman Ballab, sir, uh, for not only keeping high standard of training, but also he is further raising the bar. So, uh, because of his training, uh, techniques training, uh, quality training content, we are every month conducting this faculty development program. Apart from this, we have also started the management development programs also that also we are uh, conducting alternate months uh, so thank you sir for uh, being part of this whole uh, mohim we can say it and uh, i would like to also express my thanks to mr mangal Tupu, our training head who is organizing this uh, whole session in a fantastic way our uh, marketing person marketing executive uh, mr sanjay kumar sir who is the convener of this program and 24 7 working hard to make these programs successful as per the requirement of our faculties and uh, our technical institutions and man behind the curtain is our system administrator mr rajesh prashad i would like to uh, thank him for his dedicated effort in conducting this program in a smooth way one few uh, already you have gone through the presentation of our institutions a uh, few more points i would like to add briefly by not taking much time that you are conduct you are attending this program apart from this uh, other programs also we are conducting which is some of available on our website online as well as offline Apart from the programs mentioned in our website, we are also conducting various customized programs like Total Quality Management, 5S, Six Sigma, 7 Quality Control Tools, TPM, or as per the requirement of the institutions, we are conducting this type of programs. So not only you, but your, your students can also join this program. And uh, I would like to invite you as well as your students for visiting if it is possible up nearby me kahi hai up most welcome hai visit karne se dur se bhi hai to up ek bar program banaye or visit karen 
अपने स्टूडेंट्स के साथ क्योंकि हमारे ऑफलाइन प्रोग्राम्स भी अभी शुरू हो गए हैं सो अभी अभी विजिट करना डिफिकल्ट है तो वेबिनार्स हम लोग वेरियस टॉपिक्स पे फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट टू एनहेंस अवेयरनेस अबाउट द लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी हम लोग वेबिनार्स कंडक्ट करते हैं तो आपके स्टूडेंट्स के लिए भी और फैकल्टीज के लिए भी हम लोग वेबिनार्स जैसे थ्री प्रिंटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी क्या है सी प्रोग्रामिंग एंड ऑपरेशन क्या है फाइव uh, क्या है या अदर पीएलसी प्रोग्रामिंग इंडस्ट्रियल ऑटोमेशन पे और इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स हैं सोलर टेक्नोलॉजी नई हमारे पास डेढ़ सौ के बी का सोलर पैनल्स यहाँ पे भी सिस्टम लगा हुआ है तो इस तरह से जो भी टॉपिक आप रेलिवेंट रेलिवेंट समझते हैं प्लीज कांटेक्ट अस मैं अपना ईमेल आईडी भी प्रिंसिपल एट द रेट जे जी चैट बॉक्स में डाल दूंगा आप मुझे भी मेल करके इस तरह का रिक्वेस्ट कर दे सकते हैं सो दैट म्यूचुअली डिस्कस करके हम लोग एक डेट और टाइम फिक्स कर सकते हैं जिससे कि हम लोग इस तरह के वेबिनार आपके स्टूडेंट्स के लिए और फैकल्टीज के लिए स्पेशली स्पेशलाइज्ड वेबिनार्स हम लोग कंडक्ट कर सकें इसके अलावा मैं इनवाइट करना चाहूँगा आपके जैसा भी आपको ने देखा प्रेजेंटेशन में हमारे स्टूडेंट्स बहुत सारे इनोवेटिव प्रोजेक्ट प्रोजेक्ट पर काम कर रहे हैं जैसे उन्होंने सोलर साइकिल बनाया सोलर थ्री व्हीलर बना रहे हैं हाइड्रोजन से चलने वाली मोटरसाइकिल बना रहे हैं और हाइड्रोजन से चलने वाला गैस का चूल्हा एलपीजी को रिप्लेस करके उसके लिए तो हम लोगों ने ऑलरेडी पेटेंट भी फाइल कर दिया है इस तरह से और भी बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स पे हमारे स्टूडेंट्स काम कर रहे हैं तो हम आपके स्टूडेंट्स भी आ, आ, के अंदर बहुत सारी क्रिएटिविटी होती है और अगर उनको किसी भी तरह का सपोर्ट चाहिए वी हैव आवर फेब्रिकेशन फैसिलिटी इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स मैकेनिकल हर एक एरिया में हमारे पास एक्सपर्ट्स अवेलेबल हैं और अगर किसी एरिया में तो वी विल बी हैप्पी टू असिस्ट योर स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो टू कंप्लीट बिकॉज हम लोग भी चाहते हैं कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग स्किल्ड हों एज वेल एज ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग जो है वो इस तरह के प्रोजेक्ट्स पर काम करें जो हमारी सोसाइटी के लिए बेनिफिशियल हो और आप हर एक इंस्टीट्यूशन हम लोग लें कि हम लोग कुछ पेटेंट कराते फाइल करते रहे एटलीस्ट तो इस तरह के हमारे स्टूडेंट्स में क्रिएटिविटी डेवलप होगी एंड देयर एफर्ट्स देयर एक्सरसाइजेज विल बी मोर यूजफुल नॉट ओनली फॉर देम फॉर इंस्टीट्यूशन फॉर द सोसाइटी आल्सो आवर वेरियस ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स एनहेंस द एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स नॉट ओनली द एम्प्लॉयटी बट जो फैकल्टीज हमारे करते हैं तो उनका भी uh, एक स्टूडेंट कॉलेज रैंकिंग जो इंस्टीट्यूट रैंकिंग होती है उसमें भी उसका बेनिफिट मिलता है तो मैं ज्यादा समय नहीं लेते हुए और अपना बात को यहीं पे समाप्त करूंगा अगर आप लोगों के कोई क्वेश्चन हैं तो चैट बॉक्स में डाल सकते हैं और मैं वापस हैंड ओवर करना चाहूंगा मिस्टर मंगल टोपो जी को थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू है थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू श्री एम गुप्ता प्रिंसिपल झारखंड गवर्नमेंट स्कूल रांची uh but i would just request all of you to just uh, switch on your your camera so that we can have a photograph uh, of this session so if possible uh, kindly switch on your cameras so that we can take right okay thank you uh, all of you and uh, at the end of the inaugural session i am very sure this six day fdp program will be very enriching and a very good experience for all of you and uh, i would like to hand over uh, for the following session to professor dr r ballav ji sir you can take over thank you mangal i welcome all the participants in the first technical session of this six days faculty development program i suppose the presentation is visible to you all i would like to start discussion With Principal Ajay Singh sir, Ajay Singh ji, अपने को unmute करें.
ताकि आपसे हम बात कर पाए और चीजों को समझ पाए अजय सिंह जी यस सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर सर आप रीवा से हैं प्रिंसिपल रीवा में हैं यस सर रीवा एमपी राइट सर सर जो पूरी टीचिंग मेथडोलॉजी है yes. सर मेरा एक छोटा प्रश्न आपसे है जी जब एक टीचर क्लासरूम में इन करता है yes. तो वह yes, टीचर क्लासरूम में अपना नॉलेज शेयर करना चाहता है टेक्निकल एजुकेशन yes. में बच्चों को स्किलफुल बनाना चाहता है जी yes. जिसके लिए इस ऑब्जेक्टिव को पूरा करने के लिए उस टीचर को बहुत सारे टेक्निक्स का इस्तेमाल करना पड़ता है जी फॉर एग्जांपल क्लास को कैसे मैनेज करें स्टूडेंट से कैसे क्वेश्चंस पूछें फीडबैक्स कैसे लें स्टूडेंट्स को कैसे मोटिवेट करें ऐसे कई चीजें करनी पड़ती हैं राइट सर सर एज ए प्रिंसिपल आपके इंस्टीट्यूशन में जो टीचर्स हैं उनकी टीचिंग मेथडोलॉजी पर आप कैसे उन्हें हेल्प आउट कर पाते हैं आई एम जस्ट रिपीटिंग द क्वेश्चन इन द इंग्लिश फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ अदर्स आई आस्क द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द प्रिंसिपल अजय सिंह जी हु इज अ प्रिंसिपल इन मध्य प्रदेश दैट बींग अ प्रिंसिपल how you are helping your faculties to improve their teaching methodology and teaching styles in the classroom ajay singh sir yes sir uh sabse pehle sabhi logon ko main good morning kehna chahunga aur mera introduction nahi ho paya tha kuch network issue ki wajah se और सबसे पहले तो मैं यही बताना चाहता हूं कि मैं अभी यहाँ पे एमपी से रीवा से हूँ और प्रिंसिपल पोस्ट पे फोर ईयर से कार्यरत हूँ सर ने बहुत अच्छा सवाल पूछा है और उन्होंने पूछा है कि अपने टीचर्स की मेथोलॉजी को हम कैसे इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं तो बेसिकली अभी तो हम इसी लिए ट्रेनिंग में भी जुड़े हुए हैं सर आपसे मैं बता दूँ लेकिन जितना मेरा एक्सपीरियंस है उसमें मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा कि हम आई पे वर्क कर रहे हैं फोर ईयर से और बच्चों को बीच में हमारे यहाँ पे प्रैक्टिकल आधारित ट्रेनिंग दी जाती है लगभग पांच घंटे का प्रैक्टिकल होता है और ढाई घंटे की थ्योरी होती है और जितने भी हमारे यहाँ पे टीचर्स हैं अभी तो हमने जो टीचर्स रखे हैं वो आई और बी दोनों कॉम्बिनेशन बना के रखा है क्योंकि तो आई जो किए हुए टीचर्स होते हैं वो प्रैक्टिकल पे ज्यादा फोकस करते हैं और जो थ्योरेटिकल नॉलेज होता है बेसिक कहा जाए तो बी वालों को ज्यादा होता है लेकिन प्रैक्टिकल उतना अच्छा यहाँ पे नहीं दे पाते तो हमने कॉम्बिनेशन बनाया है कि प्रैक्टिकल आई वाले करवाएंगे और थ्योरेटिकल जो नॉलेज होता है वो अजय अजय सिंह सर अजय सिंह सर अजय सिंह सर माई क्वेश्चन वॉज ये दैट इन ए क्लास टीचर नीड्स hand holding to improve their quality of the teaching effectiveness of their teaching right please hold on i will also come down to you again after few slides right sir right sir somebody has written on the chat box that please conduct session in english the session will be conducted in english for for the benefit of few we may Uh, use sometimes Hindi, but majorly we will try to conduct in English. Don't worry on that. So the first okay, session okay. is how we all, being a teacher, can ensure the effectiveness of our class, the classroom effectiveness, the classroom management, how which is going to be done. Or uh, for everybody i am going to show you a slide in in the next slide a picture 
I am going to show a picture in the next slide. You all need to look at it and write in the chat box that you are able to see two different things or a single entity. Either it is one element, one thing, one animal, or two different animal. Write in the chat box. Are you able to see one animal or you are able to see two animals? Write very fast, sir. Ajay Singh, sir, this is a problem with we all teachers. We thought, we plan, we enter in the class with an set objective that I will teach this and my student will learn this skill. This is my thought. But when I enter in the class, when I am delivering in the class, my students are not getting what I am supposed, what I had planned to deliver. For example, in the last slide, I wanted to show you two dolphins. It was my thought. But in reality, there was only one dolphin and some other animal is there. So students are confused. Because teacher is saying two dolphins and the students are not looking at two dolphins. So this disconnect is there. So this disconnect is the thought of the teacher and delivery of the teacher. I'm requesting you all, if you have the similar experiences, please write a yes in the chat box. My, my submission was, being a teacher, I entered in the class with a thought that I will deliver this. But during the sessions, what I delivered is not as per my thought. Students are perceiving something else. It is a difference of, it is a problem of classroom delivery. So we will, the first session, we will try to focus on this basic aspect. Mahesh Kumar, sir. We had given roll numbers to everybody. Right? So, roll number three. Are you able to? IIT, ITI Sridas has raised a hand. Please unmute and talk. Two people has raised yes, a hand. Sir. Please. Please, whatever you want to speak, tell me. Mr. Sangma, you had to raise your hand. Wilson Sangma. Do you want to speak something? Wilson Sangma, he has raised your hand. Rakbat Dandali, he has raised your hand. Romila Devi, Romila ma'am, Romila ma'am, please unmute yourself so that I can talk, talk with you. Romila ma'am, Romila ma'am, please unmute yourself so that I can talk with you. When a teacher, enters, yeah ma'am, ma'am, when as a teacher you enter in the class, you had got two challenges. First, 
there's a topic you wanted to teach that topic right ma'am yes sir and the second challenge is how to teach these topic right ma'am mm. there are two two different challenges one what is the topic to be taught and second how to teach these things what are the method to utilize in the am i audible to you ma'am welcome sama welcome sama you have raised your hand so what is the importance of classroom management if we if we can understand these things little better hari narayan laskar sir hari narayan laskar ji ha sir bolie sir aap kahan se hain sir kahan se hain assam se assam se assam so for the for the uh, sir when you enter in the classroom oh. there are two challenges oh. one you want to finish this topic in this class oh. and second you had a plan how to start this session how to teach what is the teaching methods to be utilized what are the teaching tools blackboards projectors models how to start and how to manage the classroom these are the two different challenges am i clear with you sir haranan ji am i clear with you yes sir yes sir and we need some music so that i can talk with you right okay sir and the classroom management is very important harin narayan ji ha sir bolu uh for the for the last 20 30 years n numbers of teachers has got an opportunity to teach you so you, you become a student for n number of teachers in your school days in your college days in your educational aspect right sir yes sir so can you name the best teacher of your life who has given you education uh, sir maine jab ik kiya tha to wahan pe hamara biren sitia sitia sir bol ke hamara jo inspector tha मुझे लगता है वो सर कितने साल पहले थे सर वो ये सर कम से कम आपका बारह पंद्रह साल हो गया सर पंद्रह साल और ज़्यादा ही यू आर रिमेम्बरिंग द नेम ऑफ योर टीचर हु हैज गिवन यू एजुकेशन फिफ्टीन इयर्स बैक यस सर यस सो सो इज ही वेरी नॉलेजेबल और ही इज वेरी गुड इन टीचिंग सर वो वेरी गुड इन टीचिंग So just remember, sir. So for our being a teacher, when you were a student, mm. around more than hundred, two hundred teachers has got opportunity to teach you. Uh, yes, sir. Out of those two hundred teachers, you remember one teacher name? Yes, sir. Who has taught you fifteen years back? Only because? Yes. is is like good. his method of uh, teaching uh, yes sir yes so the method of teaching remains with the student for years together yes sir the knowledge of a teacher is not a permanent thing and not appreciated much by a student yes sir yes so the student expect 
the the delivery and the and the classroom management and where the teacher teaches you right yes sir even in 15 years back there was no internet so yes. the knowledge was not available to you here and there yes sir so you are focused not only for the learning but also for the knowledge you are dependent on your teacher yes sir you teacher are supposed to give you knowledge as well as skill to learn yes sir now for we all knowledge is not constrained or not expected much by the student because it is pretty available on the internet yes sir the access to test books and the knowledge is there for the students now the students comes to me for the learning part so 80% students come in my class for the learning part and only 20% on the knowledge part do you agree yes. with me sir yes sir yes sir for the everybody if you agree with me please write yes in the chat box just think on other aspect a teacher being selected by the organization based on his knowledge hari naran ji yes sir you got a job Yes, on sir. the basis of your knowledge or on the basis of your teaching skill uh uh ye sar sara mushkil sawal hai mujhe to aise when you had you had got your job yes, so some job interview some examination some, something has happened right uh, sir ye to pura knowledge ke upar hi hota hai right everybody got a job on the basis of knowledge yes and the knowledge is only 20% in the classroom ah oh, yes and in the classroom you need to express 80% the other aspects yes sir yes, yes. and you have not been selected on that ah uh, yes so sir so you yes. may you may not have that yes sir so these teaching skills you need to develop yourself yes sir and for the every class in the last 15 years of your teaching you will find every class is a different class yes yes every class requires a different teaching skills from you yes sir so this is a big challenge pre internet era yes sir and and post internet era after the covid 19 when the all the students are exposed and familiar with the internet and the facilities of using computer for the teaching for the learning yes yes sir so now the role of teacher become little more difficult do you agree with it sir yes yes sir so now the key component for the success of a teacher is teaching skill not the knowledge yes sir teaching skill is very important right so when we are talking about the key component of the success for a teacher first is proficiency of a teaching there the proficiency is the balance between the knowledge and skill of the effective whatever i am teaching it is good for me but it will only good for you if you accept and like it yes i'm repeating i may come with a very good slides for me it is a very good slide and for a student like you who may or may not accept those slides those contents in that condition i become not a good teacher i can be termed as good teacher only and only when my student accept my lecture yes and with my lecture their the skill of my student get enhanced yes right sir 
Yes, sir. The second problem is effectiveness. Sir, see, I'm giving you a condition. Yes. If you enter in the class, in the whole of the class of 45 minute duration, yes. we are given one concept. Yes. And half of the student has not understood your concept after 30 yes. minutes. Yes, sir. Whose failure is this? Mm, I think, sir, uh, instructor is failure for this. Uh, instructor is very good as per the knowledge aspect. Also, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For example, you, I'm just giving an example. An instructor is an engineer of mechanical engineer. He's a mechanical engineer. Yes. He is proper <clears throat> in mechanical engineering. Uh, yes, sir. But the students who has taken admission in ITI was from on the basis of 10th examination. Yes. Sir. And the and the physics of these students are really very bad. Uh. So when you try to teach them mechanics, mm. they are not able to understand what you are teaching. Yes. Sir. So the classroom is not able to understand your concepts. Yes, sir. So now the teacher has to scale down his teaching. He has to teach from class 8 to 9 physics. Yes, yes. So just, just I am giving you an example. A very good teacher is there who knows very good in mechanical, he is very good mechanical engineer, but he may not be very effective in the classroom of a students who are not good in physics. Yes. And same teacher may be very effective if the students are well learned, well understood up to 10th physics. Yes. Am I, am I clear with you all, sir? Yes, sir. Ma'am, meri baate clear hai aapko? Romila, ma'am, meri baate clear hai? Romila ma'am, if I am clear, please write in the chat box yes. Or if you had any 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 question, please write in the chat box or open your mic and speak. Hariyaranji, my next commission is. You are very good teacher, right? Yes, sir. For rest of everybody, please unmute your, please mute yourself. Everybody, please mute yourself, so that we will not have the noise. Except Hariharan, everybody, please mute yourself. Hariharan ji, for a teacher, he should be knowledgeable. Number one. Number two, he need to be effective in the class, right? And third is, he need to know how to manage the class. Romila ma'am, aap mute kar lehen, aap mute kar lehen apne ko. Mr. Badal Pandit. Yes, sir. Uh, you are from which place, sir? Ek baar bolye, sir. Yeah. Bagel Pandit, aap kahan se hain, sir? West Bengal ka hoon, sir. Main. West Bengal ka jesi was technical institute private ITI ka right. job karta. Aap apne ko unmute rakhen, taki aap se baat kar sakhen. Right? Okay. ITI is free. ITI is free das. Somebody is from ITI is free das. Yes, sir. Uh, apne ko, uh, you are from which place, ma'am? Uh, sir, uh, Odisha Raul Kila, Damage right. College. Right. Please remain unmuted so that I can talk with you, both of you. <coughs> so my, my first thing is, you need to effective in the class for that your student could understand little better from you and this can only be done 
if you know how to manage the class right yes sir oh hari haran sir ah uh, yes sir <clears throat> if a students comes in your college has taken admission given fees to your institution yes sir spend two years of time with you yes did they had taken admission with the intention to disturb the hari haran ji in the classroom is their intention to take admission ji nahi sir nahi wo log sikhne ke liye aate hain they they came in your class to learn to make them skillful to make themselves employable and get a job yes sir so then why they are disturbing in the class why they become creating nuisance in the class creating disciplinary problems disturbing the class why it happened sir actually kya hota hai hum logo ne mera jo experience hai maine dekha hai aise bahut ladke ko maine dekha hai jo फर्स्ट टू थ्री मंथ्स बहुत मतलब वो लोग मतलब उनका उनका शायद नेचर ही ऐसा है या बचपन से ऐसा ऐसे वो बड़ा हुआ या स्कूल में कॉलेज में वो ऐसे ही कर कर के मतलब ऐसे ही हो गया वो लेकिन जब हमारे पास आता है तो हम लोग उनको बहुत मोटिवेट करते हैं बहुत सारे बातें ऐसे बोलते हैं कि आपका पेरेंट्स आपको यहाँ पर भेजा है किस लिए भेजा है ये सब मतलब मोटिवेट करने के बाद मैंने देखा है और प्रैक्टिकली मुझे मिला भी है मतलब ऐसा लड़का जो क्लासरूम के अंदर में भी हेडफोन लगा के कुछ सुनता रहता था वो बाद में मतलब एक दो महीने बाद पूरा एकदम मतलब बढ़िया से अपना क्लास करता है टाइम टाइम में आता है टाइम में जाता है तो मुझे लगता है सर ये जो टीचिंग करता है उनके ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कि आप बच्चों को और लड़कों को कैसे आप मतलब मोटिवेट करें पहले पहले कि वो अपने क्लास में ज्यादा ध्यान दे ना कि अदर्स कोई चीजों में ज्यादा ध्यान दे right thank you sir thank you please mute yourself somebody from sikkim someone from sikkim is there please mute unmute yourself and talk to me someone from sikkim someone from sikkim is there yes yes sir government naam chi iti naam chi right sir my yes, question sir. was sir my question was you had taken a ticket to watch a yes. movie right sir with five of your friend you entered yeah. in a movie yeah. theater to watch a movie of your like right you had to spend 1000 rupees over there on the ticket yes do you in the movie hall if you do not like the movie yes. what you do you start chit chatting with one another we came out you remain seated over there what you do in the movie hall Yes hello my question was my question was five of your friends you had bought a ticket of a movie so you spent 1000 rupees entered in the movie of your choice and suddenly you found that you are not interested in the movie or movie is not good as per your expectation what you do you will come out from the theater to watch movie right sir no you enter into movie to uh, yeah. enter the theater yes, to watch movie and you are you found that movie is not interesting you do not like the movie that good so there are two options yeah, yeah. one you remain seated over there and second you came out yeah right sir Yeah, I have to come out because no. This is the yeah because I'm wasting a time. No, if you're not interested, if you're finding a wasting of time, right? We will come out. 
so there are the two scenario either we will sit in the theater or we'll come out right when you are sitting in the theater even though you are not liking the movie your friends were there will start chit chatting with one another and disturbing others over there Yeah. Please write in the chat box what what is my reaction. If I if I am remain seated in the in the theater, I am not coming out. Do we all friends start chit chatting with one another and disturbing? other persons in the movie theater no way we will not do like that either we will sit quiet in the theater or we will come out right this is a similar situation with the student students has enter in the classroom with an objective with a perception with a thought that the that the technical institution will be like that i will get this i will learn this the college perception for a teacher for a student is altogether different so a student has enter in the classroom taken admission in an institution with an imagination with a thought but in classroom he is not getting what he is supposed to get he will feel disconnect i repeat he will feel disconnect with the with the teacher disconnect with the subject disconnect with the things as hari haran ji rightly said after a month of motivation after a month of teaching they start connecting with the with the content so is this a challenge for everybody yes or no is this a challenge for everybody yes or no Pallavi ma'am, are you there? Please unmute yourself and talk to me. Pallavi ma'am. Yes, sir. Ma'am, this was a challenge for everybody to make my student interested with my topics, right? Yes, sir. Thank if you are, uh, if you are initially good uh, teacher, then I think it will not be a challenge for that good teacher. but if you are new in this teaching field then it may be challenging for them for uh, i am i'm completing around 30 years and every time i feel a new challenges you you also feel new challenges i'm i'm just asking you one small question yes, right sir. there are 50 student in the in your class okay sir. right similarly in a movie theater the producer the director the maker of this movie has created a movie with an objective that 5 crore indians will watch this movie in the theater right right sir so who is supposed to correct themselves these 5 crore movie watchers will change their thought and likings or the movie makers has to create a movie so that these 5 crores will like the movie of course the movie creator sir similarly ma'am when my students has taken admission in my institution and by default he entered in my class to learn this subject which i am supposed to teach it is my responsibility as a my duty is to drag attention and interest of those students right sir 
and this is an irony of the entire teaching system that nobody has given an understanding to pallavi madam how to resolve the classroom problems with the student pallavi madam have to create her own style and methods of managing everything right ma'am right sir now with the covid scenario the student become more intelligent and more disinterested because they have the ability to switch off the programs in your classroom they do not have the access to leave the class in between yes sir now the online programs student may join you and go somewhere else or do something else not listening to you yes sir so the the privilege is more with the students and challenges is there for the teacher more so it is always a challenge right yes sir right sir in the technical education ma'am we are trying to do three things one we had a topic to teach in the class i had been a syllabus with me and i need to complete this syllabus in these allotted 40 50 lectures right right sir and after these 40 50 lectures my student be should become skillful on doing all those things right ma'am yes sir and for a student whatever you teach in the class whatever is skill you give in the class it is new for them yes sir so so, so with one go they may or may not understand how to do all those things or do perfectly correct the way you wanted them to do right sir so you need to teach them to rehearse with them and reinforce correct all their errors so that they can utilize their skills error free yes sir so now with the technical teacher remember ma'am you had yes, these 40 lectures to complete this topic of syllabus similar situation is with a teacher of history the teacher of history is also getting the same syllabus and same lecture type right yes sir but the history student need not to replicate the skill learn in the class and do exactly the same but a technical student need to understand and replicate that skills in the workshop in the in the real life scenario yes sir right sir so now for a technical teacher it is not only teaching it is two different components are also there you need to rehearse with the student and need to reinforce the students that they should replicate these skills correctly yes sir so the normal teachers and a technical teacher has a diversified role and technical teacher has got a very difficult role to play so now yes, the sir. technical teacher need to understand it because they do not have much time in the classroom right sir if if 10 topics are there to teach in 40 sessions for every topic i need to do three things i need to teach i need to rehearse i need to reinforce so this 40 topics become 30 topics for me right sir so in the classroom i had very little time man if i do not have time that means i cannot repeat my sentences again and again right sir if i do not have time 
my students should understood with the first example only right sir to making them understood i should do not repeat several examples over there i do not have that time right sir the most effective example should be present in front of them so the teacher need to be very very effective so that he can deliver what he wanted to deliver in in very less time consuming it should right, not sir. be time consuming so the speed of teaching should be very fast and remember man the student yes, in a technical education comes from the background of schooling where they have whole of the year to understand things right sir so the mindset of students are okay no issue we will learn tomorrow hmm, and for right teacher he want to communicate the skills right now so the speed of teacher is fast and the understanding level and interest of a student is slow yes sir this is one challenge right right sir i am completely agree with you i'm giving you another example man you had you wanted to go somewhere with your brother okay right sir. and he called a taxi okay taxi came at right at 10 o'clock at your home okay sir your brother knows that you both of you had to go somewhere on the taxi okay sir and your brother comes out from the house at 10:30 so the taxi is waiting for you at 10 o'clock at your gate you are sitting on the taxi and the meter is on so you are paying for every minute okay sir and your brother comes after 30 minutes how will you react of course i will react angry and your brother knows pretty well that both of you has to go at 10 o'clock and at 9:30 when you are taking your breakfast you ask your brother take your breakfast we are getting late he were watching a movie okay okay i will i will be ready at time don't worry so when you when the taxi comes you came out even then your brother was watching tv and when the taxi came after that he went take bath had his breakfast and come out okay so you you wasted 30 minutes of your time and money too right sir so you become angry yes sir just listen to that just understood it your student has paid i am just giving you an example that paid say 60000 rupees for a semester right that means for every month he is spending 10000 rupees yes sir and every month you are having 20 days in the month and five classes every day so 100 classes in a month so yes, for sir. these 100 classes the student is paying 10000 rupees to you that means yes, for every class he is giving 100 rupees to you okay sir and in your class 50 students are there okay sir so for every class the total expenditure from the student side is 5000 rupees for 50 minutes of the class that means these 50 students are giving you 100 rupees per minute okay and i am a teacher i need to take attendance i guess mandatory yes sir and i intend in the class and it, normally i took 4 5 minutes to taking in this attendance properly 
right sir just compare the same situation you are waiting in the taxi paying the taxi because your brother has not come out on time the students who are paying you this much of amount 100 rupees per minute and being a teacher i am wasted this 5 minute in the taking attendance because it is mandatory for my institution it has nothing to do with the students benefit students have not taken admission to give you attendance they have taken attendance to learn the subject okay sir it is your problem that you want to take attendance for the student point of view it is their waste of time of 5 minutes okay okay sir i am giving you a second scenario man uh, yes sir you are just imagine you are a student your roll number is 2 the teacher okay. has started taking attendance you had given your attendance in the first 10 seconds okay for the rest of 2 3 4 minutes when the attendance is going on till 50 what you will do you had given your attendance okay what you will do of course i will wait for teacher to take attendance no. of all other Good. students being a student you cannot wait your mind start working okay your mind will not wait the the thought in the mind will start hmm. right sir they will do something are the student who has given the attendance in first 10 to 30 seconds they are thinking academically or non academically of course they will thinking uh, non academically about the things about uh, which are not related to the academy who is responsible to make these 50 student to think non academically in the classroom for 5 minutes of course me as a teacher who is taking a teacher as a teacher i am giving the opportunity to student asking my student to do not think academically for next 5 minute think non academic aspects and i want my student to be very academically active in the class is it not the same thing that i want them to become academically active but i am giving them opportunity to act non academically so my thoughts is different and the presentation in the classroom is altogether different like this is not the same situation ma'am hmm yes sir i'm just giving you a solution right okay sir everybody need to take attendance it is mandate yes sir but Absolutely. no one has told you that your students should remain non academic for this duration of attendance yes sir it is the my duty to engage these students academically what i normally yes. do what i normally yes. do ma i'm giving you an example okay sir at times i do not take attendances i give this responsibility to the class monitors to take attendance or sometimes i do if i am supposed to take attendance i start with a small exercise in the class for example write six aspects of lab security precautions of laboratory everybody is writing six aspects of lab security in his notebook and meanwhile i start taking attendance so those students who has given attendance has the opportunity to do something academically there right, and sir. those students who knows that my attendance will come after a minute or two they have something to do before giving their attendance okay sir ma'am my another uh, request to you 
what is your favorite food what do you like to eat most actually i am food i like everything to eat but uh, no, uh, chicken no, is no, my no, most chicken. favorite chicken. right chicken uh, and in chicken what is the preparation what do you like to eat in chicken mm, tandoori favorite just tandoori let it be uh, chicken tikka masala right oh, okay sir okay sir it is it is good delicious you like it right okay sir so if i offer if i call you in the in the jharkhand government tool room hostel and give you this chicken tikka masala yes sir with a very good taste how do you feel of course i will feel happy and if it is being offered to you three times every day for a month no sir all then, the means are only this no sir then i will not feel happy ma'am the best food which i like most i become disinterested if it is being offered every time a repetition is there yes sir madam you had a dress which you like most right okay sir yes sir and you wish to wear that dress in your institution when you go to your college you used to you wish you should wear that right at times you wear that sorry sir can you please pardon there is a dress which is yes, you sir. like most okay right and yes, at sir. times when you go to your college you wear that dress okay sir so since it is a good dress you like it very well it is very comfortable do okay, you sir. wear that dress every day no sir why because i have to wash it it is not only the matter of washing right it is not get dirty even in one year tomorrow again when you enter your your uh, college you had a different dress we all do okay it is because we wanted to create some change in my life okay if i am wearing a, a full slip shirt wearing a red tie tomorrow i i do not like to wear a red tie i will wear some some different tie right think in your life you want these changes variations right sir you enter There in the variety you enter in the classroom and every day you are typed you entered at the gate you say good morning children you entered in your classroom in front of your table you put down your registers your belongings on the table and turn to your student say sit down very good morning everybody you start taking attendance don't you feel that every day the same routine is being repeated yes sir it's a routine so you you utilize your blackboards you room around the students you ask certain question with the students you motivate someone you fire to someone you punish someone you praise someone every day you are doing this almost same yes sir do you think that the student had the liking of all those things no sir i don't think so they also need some being, some being variety teacher, man being a teacher we are so focused on the content that we do not think on these areas we are right, focused sir. in the delivery of the content finishing of syllabus am i am i uh, uh, clear with you ma'am yes sir absolutely ma'am there are two things one who am i whatever i am delivering what i am telling it is my role right and it yes, is sir. your role to accept me or reject me yes sir right there is a student's role to accept a teacher or do not accept a teacher 
right sir the acceptance needs variation if you do not accept this teacher in this way tomorrow if a teacher is of different flavor who knows student will like you again yes sir it is like there is a hole on a table i want to put a nail in that and my nail which what i wanted to put in that hole is a different size and every day if i am trying to put that nail only it will never fit so tomorrow i need to use a different nail a different sizes who knows one day a different nail will fit on that hole yes am sir. i clear with you ma'am yes sir hole is always there on the table it is you who comes with a nail so you need to change a nail and try with the different nails right sir so if a teacher comes in the classroom he need to create a variety over there for that one every student should like you second there should not be monotony in that and third the teacher should not be predictive student should not know that what is the next move of this teacher yes sir ma'am there must be excitement for the student the excitement should be there yes sir if the excitement is not there you will not watch the movie you are going to watch a movie if i tell you the climax of the movie beforehand the right, interest sir. to watch the movie is deteriorated drastically yes sir you may refuse to watch the movie if you know the climax and if you dislike the climax you will not watch the movie right sir so the climax is always unknown am i clear with you all if yes please write in the chat box yes i'm i'm giving you one thing the classroom procedure of a teacher how a teacher enters how he takes attendance how he start teaching how he using blackboard models and the method of teaching he need to understand that every class the process should be different palvi ma'am yes sir do you have and habit to writing a lesson plan do yes, you sir. write a lesson plan yes That sir i do the entire syllabus is demarcated you had given 40 class to teach this syllabus right so every class what you will teach do you have a lesson plan with you yes sir i have is it written it is written somewhere yes does this lesson plan incorporate the method of teaching that you will teach with the help of blackboard or you will teach with the help of question answer mode or you will teach with the problem resolving mode or will teach with the group discussion mode is it defined somewhere no sir it is not defined over there ma'am you had 20 dresses with you right okay you had decided these three dresses are party wear and i will not wear these dresses in college yes sir and these dresses are college wear normally i wear these 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 this and if some important activity meetings and all those things happen then i will wear these in your life you know when you are going to use this dress at what occasion yes sir so in your class do you know do you have a plan that this topic 
what method i will utilize in the class to teach okay no sir in my lesson plans such kind of category i'm giving you another thing you open to yes. your wardrobe where you keep your dresses right suddenly you found these are the six dresses you has not wear for last one year okay and these all six dresses are updated in fashion and the fittings are correct okay sir do do you not think that oh how i miss this dresses of course i do i will, I will select a method select an occasion to use these dresses it also should be utilized don't you yes, uh, get an opportunity to use all these sex dresses the next time yes sir similarly ma'am you had around 20 different teaching methods with you and you know all of them okay you know how to teach with the quiz method you know how to teach with the question answer method you know how to teach with the group discussion method you know all those things okay sir right yes sir everybody knows it by using this knowledge in the classroom am i clear with you ma'am yes sir i am asking another another question from you okay assignment assignment why do you give assignment to the student assignment helps to uh, revise the, the different kind of topics which i already taught them and also they help them for their final examination so one objective is to help them for their final examinations yes sir right yes sir. second objective of assignment is to test their knowledge yes sir third objective of assignment might be to give them an additional understanding to to for their self study and to know and to uh, get knowledge from other sources on the topic we had already been discussed in the class so yes, some additional right. information they should gather through the assignments right sir the assignments are given in the group so that the group activity can be tested a team work can be done yes sir sometimes you give assignments so that you collect various things various information from the perspective or from the other aspects for example i am giving an assignment to the students please list down 10 industry in india uh, in in cement sector given assignment to other set of students he write down the name of the 10 industry working in the steel sector 10 in automobile sector 10 in pharmaceutical sector and in every industry where is the address of the industry what is the production what type of machinery is they are utilizing who is the hr head what is the mail id what is the website what is the contact details how what is the size of the company i'm just giving the assignment to the students and every student come with the assignments and at the end of the assignment session the teacher is having all the data as with them to be utilized in the future placement right right okay sir so there are various objective of assignments right sir. do do you all agree that there are various objective assignment yes or no do you all agree that there are various objective of assignments yes or no just think alu yes, madam just yes sir you collect your thoughts in the last semester you had given how many assignments and whether all assignments are of same objective
if you had given five assignments to the class okay sir whether these all five assignments have the same objective or these five assignments has got five different objectives okay sir i got your point as per the assignment there must be different objectives behind every assignment so that it will be helpful not only for the student but also it will help yes, me for my future uh, if, if you are writing in your in your lesson plan that this topic i will teach this methodology right and in assignment i will give this type of assignment so that all the type of assignments can be given to the students in the entire semester okay sir in the all the entire semester the teacher can exhibit all different type of teaching methodology with the students yes sir madam some students are very receptive of one method of teaching and they they become disconnect in that method of teaching for example i have uh my vision is not good i am not able to see blackboard properly and if okay. every time you are using blackboard i am not able to see the blackboard properly so i i become disconnect from the topic because i am not able to see blackboard yes sir the next time when you will start teaching with the method of group discussion blackboards are not there Okay. then i feel now this is my class i i may come out from myself and i start discussing i become a very good student in that class because blackboard is not there and i have problem with the blackboard are you getting my point yes sir there are a number of theories i am not in indulging you in the theories i am just reminding you that you know all those things that is known to you all everybody knows it only thing is you need to utilize your knowledge in the classroom so my first suggestion is you must have a lesson plan with you that in lecture number 20 i will discuss this topic and write down in this topic i will utilize this method of teaching and you must write in that lesson number 20 only that you will ask these type of questions in the class palvi ma'am yes sir if you are asking questions from the student in the class sometime it is to test the understanding level of the student right yes sir yeah yes sir sometime you want it to know the students has the understanding to use the theories in different way or not the applicability yes. of that that concept you want it to understand the applicability of the concept understood by students right right sir sometime you ask question from the students to to check the level of their understanding in their schools the concept understanding yes sir sometimes you are asking question to understand the interconnectivity of two topics yes sir right sir so you ask questions from the student for variety of reasons right sir so in your lesson plan you need to write these things that in lesson number 20 i will discuss these type of question with the student in lesson number 21 i will not repeat the same in lesson number 21 when i will go to teach i will ask a different type of questions from the student to check a different level yes sir so the student will feel the variety of your teaching am i clear with you yes sir madam i am giving you asking you one other question yes sir please oh uh, 
you found that five of your students is habitually coming late in your class okay you 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 found it right okay, that sir. they are habitual entering late in your class 5 minutes late 10 minutes late 2 minutes late okay not intentionally habitually it is habitually it, they okay. it is their habit they are moving in the in the outside corridor you entered in the class after you entered you started taking attendance they entered after 2 minutes when their attendance will come okay it is not because of some reason they are habitual okay. okay right how do you react of course i will uh, ask them the proper reason behind be, uh, being late no how, how you react in the class what you do with the students do you punish them do you do you say first something I, to them uh, first i will uh, like to know the reason, reason behind um, why they are late if it is uh, mandatory or if it acceptable then i will not get angry or i will not punish them but it, uh, but it is not acceptable then of course i have to punish them so being late is uh, not kind of thing which students should should do madam my my uh, small request to everybody right a student has taken admission to learn right ma'am yes sir similarly a movie is made by the producer of the movies so that the every indian should go and watch the movie in the theater and pay the tickets over there right right sir and if a movie producer wants you that you should enter in the theater before the start of the movie what they do of course they will cover or make uh, movies how how they ensure that how they ensure that you that you enter in the movie before the start of the movie it depends upon uh, the trailer or teaser or the history no, behind no film is there right okay. you had taken a ticket okay right you are waiting outside of the theater yes sir you may enter after 2 minutes or you or you feel desire to enter immediately before the start of the movie okay. so that interest has to be created by the producer of the movie yes sir if the first scene if the first scene is very interesting or a hit song is there in the first scene film starts with the song what you will do okay. if it is interesting for me then of course i will not miss uh, the starting of the movie that means the students who are coming late habitually they do not find my movie in the classroom so interesting getting my point ma'am yes sir of course if i am interesting if my class is interesting they will wait for me in the classroom they will not room outside they will not wait for me to start the class am i clear with yes, you yes sir yes sir and if they came little late and I, if i want to punish them right because they are not following discipline what normally i do i'm just giving you my example uh, for everybody you should have your own examples own methods i'm just giving you my example my methods so that you can understand the philosophy with behind it right ma'am yes sir say two student for example pallavi used to come in my class 2 minutes late every day i noticed it that this is intentional my class is a third class of the college of that day so it is not a they they are stuck in traffic and everything right they are roaming here and there 
and they entered pallavi entered every day 2 minutes late in my class i noticed it right one day pallavi entered in my class then i will say pallavi has asked me may i come in sir i will say yes pallavi i was waiting for you please come in and help me okay this is a surprise to pallavi and teacher need to give surprises to the student you always think on if your action is not come as a surprise to the student you failed so i said pallavi that welcome pallavi i was waiting for you please help me to teach will you write this sentence for me on the blackboard and i will give you a chalk to write something on the blackboard right ma'am right sir so what you will do you will keep your bags and everything on my table only because i have not allowed you to go to your seat and you start writing on the blackboard right yes sir then i will say pallavi thank you for helping me please remain there so that you can help me during the class what you will do then ma'am of course i will stand there then again santosh has come in the class late i will also welcome santosh santosh please come inside and help pallavi so that both can help me in today's class and i will ask santosh please rub the blackboard pallavi is standing over there and santosh has rubbed the blackboard and he is also standing there right yes sir during the class of 45 minutes again once or twice i will use pallavi or the santosh to write something on the blackboard but they will remain standard in the class for next 45 minutes they are not allowed to sit i'd not punish them in front of class but the whole class understood that this is a punishment to pallavi and santosh right sir and pallavi and santosh also got the message that they had been punished yes sir and tomorrow again if pallavi comes late the same punishment is repeated without saying that this is punishment giving a praise right. a motivation that pallavi you are so good your writing is so good you had helped me in the class very well keep helping me in the future also and there yes. is a clap from the class for the help of pallavi given to me in the classroom but the third day pallavi will not come late because he do not want to be remain stand in the class for the whole time so you need to understand the method of creating surprises in the class you are you wanted to punish pallavi but you need to select a method how to punish so that message is conveyed without an argument without an wrong words without having a bad feeling i do not want pallavi to think that my teacher is against me yes sir i, I do not want to make a confrontation between pallavi and myself pallavi may think if i enter 2 minutes late what happened kya chut gaya nothing has lost so why is so angry right so i need to develop methods another method i, I normally utilize when pallavi came late in the class i normally utilize these methods i ask pallavi welcome pallavi give me a packet of kurkure 
how how will you react madam a teacher has permitted you to enter in the class and asking a packet of kurkure from you give your course i will be surprised of course i no, will be surprised no you don't have to kurkure no student is having kurkure in their pocket okay how will you say what you, what will your reaction first of all i will be surprised that my teacher is asking for a thing which uh, we students are not supposed to keep in classroom then then what what will you reply i will say of course uh, i don't have kurkure sir then then my my reply palavi you are taking is for granted you wanted to come whenever you want to come that means this is not a classroom this is a park and when you it is it is a normal understanding when you are entering the park with your friends you must have something to eat some drink some some refreshment should be there so next time if you think that this is a park please come with packets of kurkure for everybody cold drinks for everybody or if you think that it is a class come in the right time thank you go and sit okay sir Messages conveyed to everybody. Right, sir. I got your point. If it is, it is a serious class, right? I I do utilize a different method. Palvi came late. No issue. I will ask Palvi, please come in and keep fifty rupees on the table and go and sit on the bench on your on your seat. So it is a penalty of fifty rupees to the Pallavi because he came late. So five students have came late. So two hundred and fifty rupees has been collected. And at the end of the class, the class representative will will be given to two hundred and fifty rupees for the two days lunch hour lunch break. Have samosas with these two hundred and fifty rupees for everybody. Okay. you need to surprise the students by your action key word is this right and right sir so being a teacher when you are in the class you are playing with an orchestra so it is not only the various musical instrument of the orchestra should be aligned with your singing your words lyrics method your voice everything should be so melodious that song become melodious and liked by everybody it is not only the lyrics lyrics is important the words are important but it is not only the words that create a song a melodious song it is everything that combines together to create a melodious song so it is not only the knowledge of use but how you are going to utilize this knowledge the delivery in the classroom the interaction with the student the utilization of various teaching methods materials teaching helps your words your motivation your discouragement everything create a melodious sound am i clear with you all yes or no yes sir we are not able to finish this topic today we will again uh, start this topic tomorrow from this slides only uh, is there any question from anyone please unmute yourself and talk to me okay sir thank you i was looking at mr biswas बुद्धदेव विश्वास एज रेज एंड हैंड आप बोलना चाहते हैं बुद्धदेव सर यस सर द थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क इज मोस्ट ऑफ द इन केस ऑफ आईटीआई इज आई थिंक टुडे मेनी आईटीआई टीचर्स आर अटेंडिंग या इंक्लूडिंग प्रिंसिपल्स तो एक सवाल है जो आपको आईटीआई में मैं इन केस इन केस ऑफ आईटीआई इज हाँ हाँ 
तो एडमिशन जो लेते हैं ना उसमें मैक्सिमम वी फाइंड दैट सम स्टूडेंट्स टेक एडमिशन दे आर डिसकंटिन्यूड फ्रॉम साइंस सब्जेक्ट्स फॉर अ लॉन्ग सपोज आफ्टर टेंथ वन बॉय टूक आर्ट्स इन ट्वेल्व एंड आफ्टर दैट ही परस्यूड ग्रेजुएशन इन लिटरेचर and after that tried for job and uh, due to some reason uh, there was a uh, lack of opportunity in uh, formal education job so suddenly that uh, boy joined iti in electrician so there is a gap uh, in case of uh, uh, basic uh, educational structure like uh, maths uh, or science this is a very common problem in case of uh, different itis i guess uh, i don't know whether no, it, is, it, is is, uh, it is there it is very valid question uh, very valid point to have raised uh, so I, sir, I, i got your point sir i'm giving you a reply ha uh, ha ha uh, one one professor was from department of management probably dr sapna or someone else was a teacher of management please if you are there please unmute yourself and talk to me uh, one faculty was there in the morning was introducing herself she was from the management field hello good morning sir yes yeah. sir uh, professor mitra yes sir you are from management field right yes yes sir i am from management all right so so the question asked by mr biswas was that the, the intake of the students has got yes, different backgrounds for the yes, iti sir. most of the students are from the science background so the problem lies somewhere else that the student from science background has brought certain years or done certain other things and after few years they had joined the course that means the understanding of their science knowledge is little bit less or they had forgotten right ma'am yes sir in the in the management program you got yes, admission sir. of the diversified student base some from science yes. some from art some from commerce yes sir and you want to teach them account yes sir a history graduate who has taken admission in management has been given an assignment to the teacher to teach them accounts and there are also students who are from the accounts background who knows accounts very well yes so sir. in the class you had few students who do not know even the spelling of accounts yes sir few students are very well understood the balance sheet they can create a balance sheet themselves yes sir so how you manage Uh, sir uh, it uh, sometimes the situation comes and it is difficult but uh, initially i asked the students who are from non commerce or non management background to uh, give more time than those who are there in the uh, from ma management background because some technical subjects like accounts they definitely need to uh, give a prior work before attending the class so i'll ask them to basically ki they study from themselves and they understand and they can refer to problems to other students or they can refer to uh, to me also even before or after the class so that they maintain the interest uh ma'am this is a method you utilize this uh buddha ji we had a session on this particular aspect uh, probably it will be covered on the day after tomorrow so i request okay, you to please hold okay. this this topic for everybody sir. this uh, is a problem of a teacher that in a classroom there are student mix some students are ready to understand your concepts some student do not have the ability to understand your concept so there are mixed student base in the classroom for every b c d category of the colleges this is a scenario only in the category a colleges where you select the student on the basis of selection test you had a similar kind of the student similar 
level of understanding of students in the classroom. So we will discuss this in the day third, how to manage all those things. Meanwhile, I am requesting you all to think what are the methods you are using. Number two, what are the methods you want to use? I am giving you an exercise on this. With the mixed type of student in your class, just understand what are the methods you are using in the class, how you are managing it till now. And if your system is not good, what are the other systems can be done? What are the other methods can be done? Am I clear with you all? Buddha ji, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Sir. Sir, please. Um, just pass me, uh, sir. In uh, in case of IT education, and uh, I'm I'm completely agreed with uh, Snigdha, ma'am. Uh, but one question is there. Uh, uh, she is uh, uh, in charge of, I guess, management means MBA or MCA courses. MBA courses. So, हाँ, uh, MBA courses. So, sir, एक एक जो point मैं करना चाहता हूँ कि recently शायद IT education को अलग नजरिए से देखा जा रहा है. Uh, in a standard education system, but if considering five or six years ago, bhi, IT education ko ek, uh, matlab, education discrimination ke level se dekha, mana jata tha, society in society, that you also we have a tendency to um, uh, adapt education as a benchmark uh, to represent ourselves in a society. So either it can be obtained by merit or it can be purchased in case of uh, private uh, engineering colleges. Jo, in maximum in case of private engineering colleges, maximum level pay sir, last uh, for a few sir, decades. Sir, 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 I am uh, holding you for a second. The stack okay, and MVP is designed and focused in somewhere else. You are asking a very principal and basic question on the admission criteria and the principle of uh, governing IGI education in the entire country. That is altogether a different topic to discuss. So we, we okay, can sir. discuss these okay, things in a different way. Okay, sir. Okay, this sir. is not a mm -hmm. forum to discuss all those things. I'm sorry to say okay, that. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I understand. We should, yeah. we should, we should focus on classroom management and effectiveness of teaching only. How it can okay, be sir. monitored mm -hmm. and done. Right? Mm -hmm. Is there mm -hmm. any question from anyone? Or else I will conclude today's session. We will meet again tomorrow at 9.45. I request everybody, please join at right time. Have your questions with you so that we can discuss things and exchange ideas with one another. There is a feedback form. Rajesh sir, you have shared your feedback. Rajesh sir, two rooms are there. Yes, sir, just just call out. Group, sir, sir, call me, sir, isko. One here, you have to call me. One chat box. Me, you have a feedback form shared. Kiya gaya hai. I request everybody, please fill the feedback form. फोर एट पी एम टूडे आठ बजे रात के पहले जरूर भर दें थैंक यू एवरीवन थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड गिविंग योर प्रेसेस टाइम थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर समझी समझी बात थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल सर हैव रेज योर हैंड इफ यू वांट टू स्पीक समथिंग प्ल Please unmute yourself and speak. Yes, uh, good afternoon, sir. Afternoon, sir. Please. Uh, sir, uh, we have a problem uh, that uh, some student uh, get admission to uh, get a certificate only, but uh, uh, they do not interest in uh, teaching in a study in classroom. So, uh, how can we uh, monitor? How can we? Uh, maintain the this decorum in this classroom. I, I got your point that few students yeah. have taken admission only for a certificate. They are not yeah, interested yeah. in learning, right? Yeah, yeah. We will start tomorrow's session with this topic only, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Right? Thank you. Uh, requesting Thank you, you, please remind me tomorrow at the start of session that we will start Tomorrow's session with this problem only. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Very much. Because this is an integral question of this session ongoing, right? Okay. You are, you are, you are from which place, sir? 
या यूपी इंग्राहम इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्टीट्यूट गाजियाबाद आई एम द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द इंग्राहम इंडस्ट्रियल इंस्टीट्यूट यार इन गाजियाबाद राइट सर थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर प्लानिंग वी विल डिस्कस इट टुमारो थैंक यू